Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever considered that the location where you store your money might influence your financial prosperity or struggles? Padre Pio, one of the most revered saints and mystics of the 20th century, often emphasized the significance of small, everyday details, many of which we tend to overlook. One such overlooked detail could be within your own home, the specific places where you store your money. Did you know that some spots in your home can actually attract poverty and block the flow of financial blessings? This isn't mere superstition, there are spiritual and energetic reasons behind it. Today, you'll uncover exactly what these places are. This video reveals the seven areas in your home you should avoid using as money storage if you feel like your financial situation is stagnant, money slips away faster than it arrives, or opportunities for financial growth seem elusive. The problem may be much closer than you think, and so is the solution. Imagine if, with a few simple changes, you could unlock the flow of prosperity in your life. If you're ready to transform your relationship with money and consciously attract abundance, keep watching. Remember, it's not just about where you put your money, but about aligning your life with spiritual principles, as taught by Padre Pio. Type in the comments, I receive unexpected money, as you join me on this journey. Throughout this video, we'll explore each of these seven places in detail. By the end, you'll gain new insights into how even small habits can directly influence your financial well-being. Stay with me, and prepare to shift your perspective on how your home affects the energy of money. Let's begin with the first place, the bathroom. Known as the financial energy drain, the bathroom is one of the worst places to store money. Padre Pio taught that the bathroom symbolizes purification and elimination, representing what we no longer need. Storing money there is like treating your finances as disposable, energetically draining your resources just like water down the drain. Whether it's coins, bills in a drawer, or hidden money, keeping it in the bathroom may seem harmless, but it's allowing your finances to flow away from you. Next, the kitchen, the heart of the home. In many cultures, the kitchen is where energy-giving food is prepared, yet storing money here can disrupt this balance. Padre Pio believed that money, like food, should circulate. Keeping money in a space of constant consumption, such as jars or drawers in the kitchen, can create an energy of scarcity. It fosters a sense of lack, as though the money is destined to be spent rather than saved. The bedroom, another common place for hidden savings, is also problematic. The bedroom is meant to be a sanctuary for rest and recovery, not for the stress of finances. Storing money in places like under the mattress or in bedside drawers mixes the energy of rest with the worries of money. This creates a feeling of tension, leading to sleepless nights in a strained relationship with finances. Padre Pio urged keeping money out of the bedroom to maintain peace and balance in your life. We'll also explore hallways and passageways, places meant for energy and people to flow. When money is stored in such spaces, it moves just as quickly, never staying long enough to build up. Similarly, attics and basements, which often hold forgotten or stagnant items, represent financial stagnation when used for money storage. These areas trap the flow of wealth, preventing it from moving and growing. Finally, if you've been struggling with money, it's time to reconsider these small yet impactful choices in your home. Simple shifts in where you keep your money can unblock financial flow and bring prosperity back into your life. Join me as we continue to explore these teachings, and be ready to welcome abundance into your life. Money is like energy, it needs to flow and thrive. But when it's stored in forgotten, cluttered spaces like a basement, it tends to stagnate. 
Basements are often associated with fear and insecurity, places where we stash things we don't want to face. Keeping money there can lead to subconscious anxieties about losing control over your finances or fear of scarcity. Padre Pio taught that fear is a major obstacle to prosperity. Storing money in a place that symbolizes fear and stagnation can block financial growth, leaving you feeling insecure even if you have savings. The heavy, stagnant energy of a basement can make your finances feel stuck, causing feelings of financial stagnation and preventing you from seeing progress. However, if the basement is clean, organized, and used to store important documents in safes, the energy changes. Padre Pio believed that safes carry a sense of security, neutralizing negative energies. But even so, it's crucial to keep the basement tidy, avoiding the accumulation of old objects that could drain positive energy. Now consider the impact of modern technology. We often store money near electronic devices, like televisions or computers, for convenience. But from both an energetic and spiritual perspective, this can be a mistake. Padre Pio taught that electronic devices, with their constant flow of electromagnetic frequencies, interfere with the natural flow of energy, including financial energy. These devices create an environment of instability, which is not conducive to money's need for security and stability. Keeping money near these devices can make your finances feel as volatile as the technology itself. Moreover, the energy generated by these devices is tied to consumption and entertainment, which can unconsciously encourage unnecessary spending. If you store your savings near such devices, you might be unknowingly cultivating a mindset of immediacy, where money comes and goes too quickly. Padre Pio's guidance on prosperity also reminds us to pay attention to where we keep our money. The bathroom, a place for disposal and purification, should not hold your finances, as it represents waste. Similarly, the kitchen, a space for nourishment and consumption, is not a suitable place for storing money. Prosperity thrives in calm, stable environments. By being mindful of where you store your money, you can improve the flow of abundance in your life. Whether it's avoiding cluttered basements, keeping money away from distracting electronics, or steering clear of spaces symbolizing waste or consumption, these changes can help you unlock financial stability. Remember, it's not just about working hard, prosperity also depends on the energy around you, your mindset, and your spiritual connection. As Padre Pio taught, everything we need to live abundantly will come at the right time. If this message resonates with you, consider sharing it with others, so we can spread these teachings and help more people create lives filled with prosperity.